We're going to the vet. <laughs> and we have both animals with us. See, the rarely seen Speedy trapped in stupid baby jail. <laughs> Which he despises, probably because I call it stupid baby jail. <laughs> and Pele, who doesn't know what's happening, but he sure is happy about it. <laughs> he loves actually any car ride. Uh, he's just happy to be here. He really is. That, that basically describes Pele. Just kind of happy to be there. <laughs> and Speedy is not happy to be anywhere. <laughs> no, it's early morning and we're getting rabies shots for animals. Yeah. Poor Speedy. He just... He, well, every once in a while, just make this noise. Sad and pathetic, and he stopped now. I think he's broken. Yeah, he stopped, and he's just like laying in the bottom of his cat carrier. Pele keeps making these noises because he is excited. <laughs> Pele is just the most hyped up dog to ever exist at this point. Yeah, it's like, Pele, you gonna go get a shot? You gonna go to the vet? He's still excited. Oh, he actually loves his vet, though. He does. Pele loves anyone who will give him attention. Which is weird because we give him so much attention. And the vet gives him treats. I have pet this dog for like two hours straight at one point. He will just like curl up on me and I will sit there and pet him and watch TV. Yeah, it's it's kind of cute, but he's just like he loves attention. I don't know why, but he loves it. Oh, so much I, of course I would pick this road on the day that they're doing road work. Why wouldn't I? Of course I would. Yep, there's road work ahead. Oh, Lord, why wouldn't I pick this the day that they're doing road work? Why would I not? Like, why wouldn't I? But now Speedy is very good. Oh my gosh, his eyes. Oh my Lord. Are they full of hatred and disdain? No, they're just huge. Like, he's just like, oh my God. Why is this my life? See, look at the speedy. He does not know what happens. He knows only pain and suffering. <laughs> and by that, none of the above. He lives in a very nice cat house outside. I built it. <laughs> it's got carpeting. We're about to put in insulation. He's, he's about to live in a nicer house than the one I live in. <laughs> he lives wild and free. Like he's, um, yeah, his house is about to be warmer than mine. Yeah, he actually gained a bunch of weight when he became an outside cat. <laughs> Seems happy. If you can't hear us at all, that's just because Pele is just so excited he can't contain himself. And no, we take him for rides all the time, and this is his response each and every time. It doesn't stop no matter how far you go either. Like we've gone to Boone, and he's been doing this the whole time. Yeah, he just doesn't know where he's going, and he's just so excited, and he's just, he's just so excited. Like he just can't contain himself, and he's just like, oh my god, you guys, like what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Where are we going to go? Who's going to call me a cutie today? <laughs> Basically, Pele's whole philosophy when riding. Um, everywhere we go, whether it's the vet or the groomer or just, like, to the park, any, everyone stops and says how cute he is. So. True. He loves McDonald's because, he's, because they call him cute and he gets his chicken nuggets. Yeah, he loves chicken nuggets. They are his favorite. He always gets them when he goes to McDonald's, so mm -hmm. I just, because I can't help but get him some, even though they're like not the cheapest thing on the menu that you can get a dog. <laughs> I know, the four piece is only like a dollar. Yeah, but. He doesn't know any better. As far as he's concerned, that's the biggest about you can get. <laughs> See, Emily, my sister, always gets her dog, Jackson, a, um, a ice cream cone. Oh, I should have gone in the other lane. Oh, well. Also, I don't think Paley would do well with ice cream. He has a mustache. He does have a mustache. Jackson, though, is a floof. He is just a giant floof. So just imagine Jackson with ice cream. Oh, that's got to be so messy. Mm -hmm. What's happened to Paley? Are there other cars? Do they have other puppers? Why would you be concerned about that? You hate other puppers. <laughs> Paley is a silly dog who is not well socialized with other dogs. He believes them to be there to steal his attention. Also, the zip line is super handy just because of the fact that he does love to run from window to window. Yes. And it keeps him contained in the back seat. It does. He does not like jump up in the front and try to steer or anything. No, because normally he would be very upset that Caleb is in his seat. Mm -hmm. 
because this is normally Pele's seat is up here where Caleb's sitting and then he would also try to sit in my lap since we're at a red light and I have stopped because <laughs> mm. um, that's what he used to do whenever he was a puppy he would ride up here where I like in my lap the entire time <laughs> Oh my gosh, Pele, you're so loud. He is excited. Yes, but we're in such a small space. We are, and recording. <laughs> but Pele doesn't know what YouTube is. No, he doesn't. He, he doesn't know what a selfie is. He does know what a selfie is. He knows that that's a command. <laughs> Pele, selfie. And he'll, like, actually, like, say. <laughs> yeah, he tries to ride up in your lap and stand there. <laughs> Picture. Pele knows a useful command. <laughs> like, Pele, sell me and help. Then picture time. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Pele wants to be a model. He does. He wants to be a model puppy. Mm -hmm. He's finally starting to calm down a bit. Yes. But um, He's worn himself out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has worn himself out so much. Like, he's just like, okay, I'm done. I've run all over the place. Oh my god. I've so much run. So much run. So much run. So much make noise. Mm -hmm. He's not even got to the part where they pay attention to him. No. And then there will be more run and make noise. Mm -hmm. And then there will also possibly be other puppers and other kitty cats. Neither of which he's prepared for. Mm -hmm. Speedy's just kind of accepted his fate. <laughs> He's like, okay, this is where I go to die. I understand. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> the last He's understood time, <laughs> there's no escape. The last time I took him to get shots, it was just constant escape. He actually was just sitting in the front seat because I took him by myself. And he, like, tumbled himself into the floor. <laughs> he was trying to escape that bad. <laughs> so he just tumbled himself into the floor. And then whenever I got him to the vet, he was just making these demon noises the entire time. Did he say it took two vet techs to hold him down? Yeah. Your shots? Keep in mind, Speedy is an abnormally small cat. Yeah, and he was much, much, much smaller at this point. Like, like significantly smaller. You'd think they'd just wear gloves. But... No, they said that he was the meanest cat that they had ever seen. Mm. Speedy is a little grumpy baby. Well, these are also the same vets that though that refuse to cut Rocky's toenails. I understand that. <laughs> Rocky's kind of a jerk. Rocky's kind of like Satan. He's the worst. <laughs> but um, he's so angry all the time. He is. Like that dog will just sit there and bark at you even after you've made it to the house. <laughs> and then when you leave, he will go outside to bark at you some more as you're pulling out. <laughs> Barky. Yes. He's the barkiest. <laughs> He's sweet to me, so I can't really complain. Mm -hmm. He's really sweet to me. Speedy, though, is mean to everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why either. I've had him since he was just a couple weeks old. I never, like, I've never been mean to him. Ever. Like, I, but, like, he constantly slept on my chest like from the moment I got him I have a picture of him like the day I got him just like riding right here like on his way home looking out the window just riding right here <laughs> and he was such a small little cat like I could literally hold him in my palm and you know that's how long I've had him and he's just always been mean to me <laughs> he's been mean to everyone for forever yeah like, he's not a happy animal I don't know why. <laughs> I kind of blame Pele for beating him up so much, but... And, yeah, I just don't, I don't, I don't know why. Like, no, Pele was even, like, kind of sweet to him. I, I don't... He's just always been... Honestly, really he's gotten nicer, too, since we let him outside. I think it's because he wants back in. <laughs> well, no, even when we leave the door open, he'll just, like, walk in, sniff, be like, eh. Walk back out. Yeah, that's actually what he does. Like, he, like I've actually held the door open. And like, yeah, come on in, and he'll walk in. He'll sniff around the living room, and he'll be like, "Okay, this isn't my thing anymore," and he'll walk back outside. Just wants to make sure it's still the way he left it. It's not though, because I got rid of his catcher. 
it got rid of his cat stuff. He doesn't really seem to care. Yeah. Like, I mean, some his toys are still there, though. Huh. He doesn't even go anywhere near those, though. And they're covered in catnip. Yeah, like, he doesn't care. No, he genuinely does not care. Speedy likes frolicking through the woods. Mm hmm And now there's a little girl cat that lives behind the house, so... Maybe Speedy's fixed, friends. though. Yeah. He's fixed, but maybe they're friends. I don't know. Hey, Speedy's gone out and made friends. <laughs> That's part of the reason why we're getting him shots. Maybe he went out and made friends with the wrong kind of animal. True. <laughs> oh, he really doesn't leave your yard. He really doesn't. He kind of just stays close. Like, the closest he'll go is in the neighbor's yard, which is just a shaded area. Yeah. Like, the one time I, Pele ever got off the leash with me, he just ran to that area and frolicked with Speedy. It was kind of cute. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about Speedy, though. Like, he doesn't travel far. He has an insulated home. Mm -hmm. Plenty of food. It's nice. Yeah, I mean, if it starts, like, snowing too much, I'm sure that he'll come in. So we can leave him there. That gave a tiny litter pan. Yeah. Hopefully he'll use it this time. Occasionally take him outside and squeeze him every once in a while. <laughs> squeeze? You sound so mean whenever you say that. <laughs> the guy gotta get the farts out. That's how I got the farts out of Pele when he ate all that bread. <laughs> His no, we squeeze our animals. <laughs> we just smell like a monster. <laughs> what? You just take Pele and you hug him. Oh, and then he farts everywhere. Oh, we just squeeze our animals. We're two minutes late to our vet appointment. <laughs> if you squeeze Pele, he will fart. It's kind of funny. <laughs> he doesn't really seem to mind either. It's like, ah. Oh, Pele knows this place. Okay, we're here. We'll get off here. We're doing medical stuff. Speedy just licked me somehow. He licked you? Through the mesh, yes. Doll. What okay. a cutie. Like, Bye. comment, subscribe.